Hey guys, it's been a while, like about a month or so, ever since you guys have actually, you know, seen me. Um, I've been a little bit busy in the background, I'm not gonna lie to you. <laughs> I've been really busy, and I've just been, you know, needing some time to recalibrate myself and stuff like that, you know, heal up from everything that's happened this, like, past month or so. Um... I just wanted to talk to you guys about something that recently happened that I do want to have for archival purposes and just give myself closure on. Just about a couple hours ago, I'm reasonably certain all of you have heard, the servers for the Wii U and 3DS have shut down. And I wanted to talk about my memories with them because I couldn't be there for it. I'm not home. I'm in North Carolina. I'm not home right now. And I wanted to be there to talk about it. Because I couldn't make it to like the finale stream that Retendo was doing or anything. I couldn't make it to anything. So instead of crying because I couldn't be there for the shutdown, I'm going to um, talk about my fond memories with the Wii U, because most of my era of my YouTube channel was with the Wii U, because back in 2014, you know, it was all about, oh, Wii U stuff, Nintendo Land, Smash 4, and in 2015, I don't ever really think I made a proper Splatoon video, but still, it, it it's something. Like, I was definitely there for the Splatoon 1 days, I was there for Mario Maker, I was there for Smash 4, I was there for most, if not all, that the online services for Wii U and 3DS had to offer. 3DS, it, it, I didn't really have a lot of fond memories on the 3DS, at least for online. Like, I only really ever played Mario Kart 7, I could never play Smash 3DS because I never owned the game. But, um, I do remember again with my friends and playing Mario Kart 7 with them, and that was fun. But, that's really it. That's all that's going for the 3DS. <laughs> the only game I really ever played online was Mario Kart 7, and that's really it. But, um, the Wii U was definitely one I had a lot of fun memories with. Hopping on there every day after I get home from school to talk to people on Miiverse, even though that was like an unmoderated mess, but that's why I loved it. It was unmoderated. It, it, it really was, but, um, I did have a lot of fun on, you know, Miiverse and just crap posting on there and just having friends on Miiverse in general. It was super fun, and, um, I am happy I'm going to get to re-experience that with Rverse, and that's what, what I've already been doing. I've been re-experiencing everything with Rverse, at least on 3DS, because that is, like, another fun memory I do have with 3DS is just being on Miiverse and talking to people on Miiverse. So that is definitely something I will miss. But, um, Miiverse was definitely, like, a big memory of that. But the Wii U with online... The Wii U... I played Wii Online a little bit when I was younger. I dabbled around in it. But the only difference was the Wii didn't really have, like, a lot of revolutionary, per se, games for Nintendo's online. I mean, Mario Kart Wii and Goldeneye 007 were really good, but, I mean, that's really it. Brawl sucked. Brawl sucked online. <laughs> I mean, we all saw it coming. I think, like, the the company who made those servers for Nintendo, like, shut down or something, and then Nintendo couldn't keep supporting them. But then, you know, the Wii U came along, and then, you know, Nintendo Network became a thing, and then I remember the day I got it, and I even remember occasionally it charged you 25 cents to make an account, which is nuts. Even though I made like four, four in a row for free. <laughs> I don't know. That that was super weird. But I do remember, people had to charge. Like Nintendo charged you a small amount of money to make the account. But I made mine for free, which is strange. But um, the Wii U had Splatoon, which revolutionized the online genre for. Nintendo as a whole. I'm sorry I look like a mess right now, by the way. I'm still waking up. I had a long day today. Like, not a bad one, just I worked a little bit. Um, Splatoon revolutionized the um, online thing for 
for Nintendo. It really did. Like, I can't not say that. Um, Splatoon 1 is one of my favorite games of all time. And knowing that you can't, you can hardly even play it now. Like, I know, like I said, Pretendo. I know of Pretendo's existence. I played their close beta. Um, I'm just nervous that it's going to be a whole other, you know, Wimothy thing where only people play like Mario Kart Wii, where, you know, Pretendo, Pretendo Splatoon is going to be the Wimothy Mario Kart Wii, where there's hundreds of players on it. I don't think anyone else is going to be playing anything else. Um, at least so I don't think. Maybe, maybe. Because this is like, it's still around launch. Wimothy's been around for 10 years now. Like, th this is still around launch. And, you know, Mario Kart Wii was really, like, the only game people remember fondly online. Brawl Online sucked. And I would know, I played it online. <laughs> like, even just recently I played it online, and it still was terrible. Like, I was, um, I met this guy in the Discord server, and me and him played online. I still have his friend code. Um, me and him played online. He went Ike, I went Luigi, and then after a while I went Ike, and he went Ganondorf, and then we both went Ganondorf. It was fun, but it was very laggy. It, it was super laggy, like almost unbearable, like just basically almost unplayable. But it was still fun because I like couldn't experience Brawl that much because of how laggy it was. <laughs> but Smash 4 was my real dwell into the um, into the franchise. Like I played Brawl. I played a tiny little bit of Melee, and didn't like it when I was a kid, and now look at me go, I now really love the game. Um, Brawl was fun. And then Smash 4. Smash 4's online was pretty freaking good. Like, it, it, it was alright, it hardly ever lagged, it, it had good net coding. I mean, it had good net coding, but it wasn't always there, considering I do remember in the early days of whenever I was still playing online on, like, what the heck, all my Wii U games. The, like, Splatoon especially, Splatoon had, like, a big problem with their network stuff, where people were getting freaking deranked in, um, you know, the rank battles, because they would get disconnected, and they would get deranked for it. And I remember I had, like, a B, a B plus rank in, like, Rainmaker and Splat Zones, I believe. Because I think it was only Rainmaker, Tower Control, and Splat Zones. And the Rainmaker... I loved it in Splatoon 1, and I'm sad I won't really get to experience using that thing again until I get my Wii U back to play it. Because right now, all I've got is like a VHS or a v VCR looking Xbox One and my Switch. That's the only things I got with me, but I'm going to be coming back soon to get all my stuff so I can, you know, work on some things. Like, my Wii U is broken. Like, very broken. But it's, like, it, it works. The, the disk drive sucks. But the one I have in my dad's still works perfectly. And plus, it's not its not missing all kinds of save data from my childhood. In fact, I think I have more childhood data on that one than I do on the, than I did on the one for my, um, for my mom's. Like, the only thing I lost is my Splatoon stuff. But I played a lot of Smash 4 at my dad's house, too. And there is definitely more memories on that than there is, you know, on the, um, you know. The other one, so I'll make that one my primary Wii U whenever I get it updated and hope to God it ain't broken. Or like bricked or something. I don't know how it could be bricked. But um Splatoon, I remember how many memories I have of that game, and it does suck that overnight while I was asleep, it just died. <laughs> but um I did have a lot of memories in in that game. I was like level level was I? I was like level like 16, 17. I, I made it to level 9, I think, before the shutdown, trying to get all my stuff back. But, um, most of the weapons I didn't really get to get, because I remember how it, how hard it was to make money in the first game. It really was, like, it was a, it was a tough economy. <laughs> no, I remember getting a new weapon was like literally buying a new Nintendo game. It was hard. You had to work hard to get it. And, I just remember how hard it was to make money in that game, so it was hard for me to get, like, new weapons. I just mained the Carbon Roller in that game, and very little else. Carbon Roller, or Aerospray. I think that was, like, two of my main weapons. 
but mostly the carbon roller because I oh my god I went off with that thing <laughs> I went ham with the carbon roller because it was so good you can run people down in one shot it, it was just so good until they nerfed it in Splatoon 3 <laughs> which annoys me but I can still use it effectively but um yeah I love the carbon roller in the first game I think the second game was where it was really freaking good as well as it was in the first one and that's what I really liked about it. And I do have a lot of memories. I remember the first time I beat that game, the first time I heard Mario Time me uh, Memory from the Squid Sisters, I cried when I first heard that. I vividly remember crying. I can never get the hero shot to full level back then. Um, I remember getting my first amiibo to get the hero roller. I never got the Cali one, even though I always wanted it. I plan on getting one soon. Um... There's just so many memories I have with the first game that I lost because of, you know, irresponsibility, but I feel like Splatoon 2 is, it kind of has the bigger nostalgic crowd because it was the big one on the Switch, and I feel like that was the one more people started on than the first one. At least that's my opinion. I like, I love both games. I love Splatoon 1, but Splatoon 2 I remember more than I do Splatoon 1. I just remember the Splatfest being really toxic because Miiverse... <laughs> Uh, I especially remember the finale one, the Kelly vs. Marie one, and how a kid got doxxed on it. Um, because they chose Kelly instead of Marie. I chose Kelly, but I, what, I stayed off Miiverse that day because I knew what was to come. I, I just knew chaos would happen, even though my tiny little um, nine-year-old brain at the time couldn't really handle it. <laughs> or, like, comprehend it. <laughs> so I stayed out of that mess. I tried to stay away from it as far as I could. I it was, um... I was just more focused on playing the game and, you know, trying to win this Splatfest, but Marie in, um, inevitably won. I, I think it was inevitable. But, um, yeah, dude, Splatoon 1 was really fun for me. I loved Smash 4, like, all I did all kinds of dumb stuff on Smash 4, um, at least to the best of my ability as a kid. Recently, I've been doing some pretty stupid stuff, but, um... Still, I had a lot of fond memories on Splatoon 1 and Smash Bros. 4. Just, and Mario Maker 2, all my stages were still there, even if, even if my console got formatted. All my old stages were still there whenever I got onto the course world, and I started, I broke down whenever I saw them. I was crying, like, tears of joy whenever I saw my old stages still there. But I could never freaking get them, but I think they archived them, so I can probably still get them back. So I will definitely try. Or I will try to recreate them from the best of my memory. Should I see them. Um, they were kind of dumb stages, though. I'm not even going to lie to you. They, they were just dumb. They were just me tinkering when I was like nine or so. So, yeah. Um, but I'm sorry I was ranting for like 13 minutes. I was, I've been standing here in this exact spot for 13 minutes ranting about the Wii U and the 3DS because I'm, while I'm sad I wasn't there for the final day of it, I'm happy that I still have the memories of all that stuff that went down. Uh, and like, all my Miiverse stuff, all my Splatoon stuff, because I still got Splatoon 2 and 3, and, I, and like I said, I feel like I've done more on Splatoon 2 than I did for the first game. Um, Smash 4, I... Honestly, liked I honestly like that game more than Smash Ultimate, and I know that's crazy because that game is basically the beta of Smash Ultimate. Like Smash Four walked so Ultimate could run, and yes, Bayonetta made the game a competitive mess, but um, I don't care. I really liked that game. Like I really loved Smash Four, even if it was like, um, everyone hates it because Ultimate's out, and just the thing is. I do remember, like, you know, they banned Miis, and they banned, like, Custom Fighters, like, Customs, Smash 4 early days. I don't know how they found so many consoles with all the Customs unlocked, because there was, like, a lot of them. But, um, we did ban Customs, we did ban Miis, because me Brawler Loki just being broken, and plus the fact you could freaking augment him was out of this world. <laughs> but, um, it was still fun. It was still a fun game. I loved Smash 4. So... I just wanted to talk about my fond memories with the Wii U. Specifically the Wii U, because the 3DS, I only really ever played Mario Kart 7. And that was really it. But, Pretendo's coming. I know that. I'm going to play it. Like, I think, heck, I think Pretendo's already out. 
Like, you you have access to it, like, right now. I think you can play it right now, if you wanted to. But I don't have my Wii U with me. I don't have my PC with me, and I can't emulate it. Um, but I'm gonna get all that stuff back as soon as I can, and then, like, switch primary Wii U's. So, you know, I don't have a broken disk drive for a Wii U, and stuff like that. And plus, I still have all my save data on the other one, so I'll just put my Pretendo network ID onto that one, and then just take all the save data from that, and then put it on there, and then take my Splatoon save data. It, it's complicated, but nevertheless, I'll make it work. I'll just get all the save data I can, and then put it onto the Pretendo one on the new Wii U, and then, you know, go from there. But I just wanted to talk, and wanted to give, like, my final farewell to, you know, the, the Wii U, because, like I said, 3DS only played Mario Kart 7. But the Wii U, I had a lot of fond memories with, and knowing that the OG servers are down, it hurts, but give it like a month or so, Pretendo will freaking curb that, I promise. Pretendo will, like, curb that. It'll curb that pain, and it'll be like, as if no one remembered that the OG servers went down. Because <laughs> it's like the same deal with Wimify. It's just, Wimify is better like, dare I say better than what it was back then, even when the games were online. Like, I feel like it, I feel like it's better, in my opinion. But, um, the Wii U, the Pretendo, I can't wait, because I even think there's support in the 3DS for that, too. I can't wait for it. I'm definitely going to be playing it a lot, because a lot of people are coming to that server. And I'm really hoping it stays as active as possible, because I really do want to keep playing it. I really want to keep playing the first Splatoon game on Pretendo, and I'm hoping that I can get into some good games on there, because, you know, now Pretendo is your only option. You can't just switch between Nintendo and Pretendo. But, man, I will try everything I can to play something that technically doesn't even exist anymore. <laughs> well, still, I just wanted to get on here and rant for a while, and talk about my memories with the Wii U. Like, you guys, if you've seen my old videos, you would know, but... Nevertheless, I remember playing a lot of online, and that's it. I have the memories of those, and that's it. And I'm content with leaving it at that, because I'm going to go on a Pretendo and make more. So I'm content with leaving it at that. So farewell, Wii U servers and 3DS servers. You've served as well for 10 years, and it sucks that you have to go or it sucks that you've... Actually, no, they've been around for 12 years. Good God! Okay. Well, farewell Nintendo Network. So, yeah. I just wanted to get on here and talk about it. You know, instead of crying over the fact I wasn't there for the final day. just wanted to talk about it. Because I'm going to be playing a lot of Nintendo. So, there's your, there's your little update from me. I am still, you know, dealing with stuff that I can't really talk about out of respect for the family. <laughs> if I talk about it, I'm not going to hear the end of it, at least for my mom. Yeah, I don't want to get you guys involved in any family drama of mine, or just drama in general. I tend to keep, I don't want to, you know, be a drama channel. I'm a gaming channel, not a drama one. You ain't coming here to see me complain. Well, then again, this is just a rant thing. Well, <laughs> I don't know how I expected this to go, but this definitely wasn't it. But I just, I'm okay. I just want you guys to know I'm okay and that I, I've been alright. I just felt like this was a good opportunity to show my face after a month. <coughs> just felt like this was a good opportunity. I wanted to come back and say hi and just give my thoughts on the Wii U and 3DS servers finally being gone. But, yeah. Farewell, Nintendo Network. You've served us well. This may be the end of an era for Nintendo, but it begins a new one with Pretendo, and I can't wait to get into that and make some new memories with it. You know, as if they were reborn. And that's basically it. The server's reborn. So, I'll see you guys around. Stay safe for me. I love you all. I'll see you guys later. Sorry it took 20 minutes out of your time to talk about some game servers, but it's a big deal to me. So, yeah. You're welcome. Bye, guys.